YouTube, how are you guys? I hope all of you are doing really, really great. So I wanted to make a video. I've been thinking about this video for quite some time, and I know I promised you this video. So this is about the JLT intake on the GD500. So the new GD500, and uh, I think they call it like the big, big kit or something. So it, this is this is like uh, with with a big wind flow pipe. So this is about the JLT intake. So I have the intake. I'm gonna flip the camera and show you. Uh, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to make uh, an before and after kind of an impression. Now I know you guys have seen a lot of video online that oh it does add 35 to 40 uh, wheel horsepower, which is pretty much right because JLT did the test and there's other third-party dyno tests. But I really wanted to see that do you feel that in the real world? So it's not going to be a scientific test, guys. I mean, and again, it's going to be my impressions, but I'll try to be as impartial and unbiased and just give you driving the car before the intake because this car is pretty much stock has nothing else right now on it so how do i feel about this what are some of the weaknesses what are the areas i would have loved to improve and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a video of installing jlt a quick uh, time lapse kind of a footage and then we will go uh, for a drive uh, with the jlt on so I will be making it in two parts. So today will be very much like showing you what the JLT intake kit is all about and then doing a before video. And then the next video on the channel would be about installing and then just doing a review on how do I feel after the JLT install. So just please subscribe and like and stay with the channel uh, so you, you, you'll get a notification once I upload the after JLT intake video. So without further ado, let me I uh, flip the camera and show you what I have because I got my JLT intake so I want to show you uh, everything which is in the kit so let's just get right into it guys all right so that's the box I already opened it I could not control my excitement so this is the main housing for the filter this is what the JLT sends so I have two push pins so I will be talking about these things on the uh, installation video and then everything else in the box is let's just open it so I have the main whatever the airflow pipe so this one is pretty big guys like if you see the stock this is definitely much bigger than the stock and then oh I dropped something and then obviously this is this is all the attachments and fitments which will go and then with all this they have a big conical filter so that's the filter uh, the JLT so yeah I mean I'm really excited guys uh, let's just see how this one turns out and yeah let's just get into the car now so i'll be hopping in the car the sun is setting it's very windy today but we'll try to capture some good footage of me driving in the road and I'll, I, I hope the light is not a challenge so just let's quickly get right into it So really you ain't gonna hit me back, yeah Now it's all just you got me on blast, damn You're over it, I've been done We're so toxic, can't get enough Ooh, go and say it like a mantra Tell yourself I should have known that we <laughs> the sound guy so i'm using a microphone so which will suppress a lot of the exhaust tone because otherwise it's very hard for you guys uh, to hear me uh, while i'm driving so sorry about that that you're not able to enjoy all that exhaust notes uh, but i gotta talk and you gotta deal with me <laughs> so yeah so what the mode i'm on so i, I i'm using track mode right now but I've t tweaked the suspension uh, to sport. So because on track, you still have an ability to adjust the steering response and the suspension. So since we are on the back roads, I mean, I may hit a uh, track suspension if we find some decent good roads. But for now, I'm on track. Everything is on track. The exhaust, the steering, the engine, the transmission, 
except the suspension. The suspension is still sitting on um, the uh, sport. So that's what the mode we are using, guys. this car guys and it's not like I was talking to somebody so it's not about like going fast all the time I think what I really love is the chassis the handling like to give you an example I was driving my Corvette yesterday and uh, it, it was equally windy so today is very windy it was very windy yesterday and like the moment I got in the Corvette and I'm like what the hell is happening like the whole car is so light so I was feeling like the wind is just throwing me all over the car did not feel planted I just did not enjoy the experience. So I was worried when I was taking out the Shelby today because it was equally windy. And, and honestly, I don't have a lot of experience with this car because it's just 600 miles. So I did not know what I'm getting into, but it just blew me away. I'm, I mean, I can tell you, it was night and day than the Corvette, which is a Z07 package and, and then tweaked uh, for uh, performance handling because I think, it, it just felt so planted the car was holding its own it was nimble it just felt like glued to the road yeah there were times when the wind did cause like some some problem when it, it was very high and very windy but nothing to take away the the joy and i think that's what's special about this gd500 especially the carbon fiber track pack the chassis tuning like guys i mean i'm, I'm telling you it's it's really not about like going those crazy stupid fast speeds you can enjoy the car even at normal speeds and you can appreciate the handling and the performance it gives you. So, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away, guys. Been friends since 1995 Growing up, same street, you, me, my ride or die Years it would grow us apart, yeah Moved away, but you're still in my heart, yeah Call you up, how you been? Can we play and rewind? Yeah, those other guys are true They don't care, no, like I do I've been waiting on you So, all right, so we are on the good roads of Mexico. <laughs> so, I mean, what do I feel? I love the car. Like, I mean, this is, as I said, it's, it feels great. It feels awesome. It has, like, tons of uh, chassis and the body control. But in terms of the performance, I feel that there is some room for the car to be a little quicker on the throttle response side. So like the get up and go traffic, like for example, I, when I just step on the gas and by the time the car registers that and gets going, I think there can be an improvement. And, and, and I'm not throwing shit on the DCT, like the DCT is quick. It's like, it's like that throttle response time, like when you hit the pedal, there is still a slight, a little bit of a lag. Now, I don't know if that's going to make, uh, I mean, if, if the... JLT is going to improve, but I do have a pedal commander in plan as well. So I hope because that's the throttle response controller. And, and that's what people tell me that, oh, it is a DCT. You don't need it. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I can be in track all the time and it solves the problem a little bit, but it still doesn't solve the challenge of, you know, that, that, that problem where the throttle is slightly sluggish, you know. And there's a nice looking Camaro SS, guys right on our back I don't know what he's up to but yeah I mean so coming back to the throttle uh, part so yeah there's a lag and it's it's more present and I know the score refs through the all the way through 7500 rpm so that's another thing uh, if you're not on track the car will quickly upshift and then it'll definitely take time to build the rpm and before it gets going so I feel the lower end torque 
I hope the JLT could improve the lower end tar. So that's one of the things which definitely could benefit from some improvement. And, and the response part, like from the time you press the pedal and the car knows it, does its thing, shifts and gets going, I think that's what's uh, slightly missing. I wouldn't say like, oh, it's not there, but I think there's definitely a room for improvement on that regard. And power-wise, I mean, yeah, it has pretty much of punch, except the lower end torque. I feel like the higher end torque, so the GT500, the speciality is it keeps pulling on the higher end torque. But the lower end torque, I think it struggles a bit. And that may be something to do with because it drives all the way through 7,500 RPM, so it has tons of uh, rev ranges to pull up. But that's like how I feel, especially comparing it with, I mean, let's say the Corvette or even the Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. They have, I mean, my Corvette has a throttle response. Corvette had the same problem. So out of all the cars, uh, without a mod, I think Dodge Red Eye has the most uh, sensitive throttle and I wouldn't say sensitive I think it's nicer I like it because the car was peppy and it was very snappy so it has least amount of throttle lag but all those cars had a very healthy and a high lower end torque which is what I love and that's what is sometimes like I feel it's slightly missing now again this car is 625 pound foot of torque uh, to the crank which is lesser than obviously the Corvette uh, and, and obviously much lesser than the red eye, so that may have something to do with it. But it's funny how all this translates into speed, because I don't feel that the car is slower. I feel the car is pretty fast and snappy. Uh, but, you know, I mean, there is no problem on, on building speeds. And I don't know how to describe that. So let's say you're pulling against, and you're doing a roll race with a Corvette, even my Corvette, which has a AFE and a, uh, and a cooler intake and a throttle response and x pipe, this car will definitely pull ahead. And, and I, I'm sure you have seen a lot of videos online because it starts pulling like a madman uh, in the higher ranges. So the high speed is probably the USB. It just keeps pulling. So that's where it shines. So that's why I'm, 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 I'm hopeful that the JLT is going to improve a little bit my throttle response part and my low end torque because I don't feel like I'm missing anything on the higher end torque. I mean, power is like never enough. Obviously, you can keep going and you can build a thousand horsepower Mustang. I don't know what I'm gonna do for tuning on this one for now, but this is too expensive of a car. I've put a lot of money and I don't wanna let go of my factory warranty and stuff. So I'm, I'm not sure uh, how all that will pan out, but I would definitely try to do these small mods, which hopefully don't go and mess up the warranty because you can always take them off like your throttle response controller so pedal commander is in plan jlt we are doing that right now and and maybe like a an x pipe or something just from a performance standpoint i love the sound by the way so that's my uh, dilemma that i don't want anything to mess my sound because i just love how the car sounds so yeah i mean it's more like for the performance if the exhaust can add a little bit more performance i would love to have that and yeah, I mean, that's that's like in a nutshell, guys, my impression, the before impression. I mean, obviously, we'll have more to talk about when we put the JLT intake. Uh, but the before is, I think that's the whole uh, car in a nutshell, that it's great on the higher rev ranges. The lower end torque, it struggles slightly when you compare it with a similar, uh, I mean, price point cars, even higher price point cars. And it can definitely benefit from a faster throttle response. And that's where like when I get a lot of shit on Pedal Commander, I'm like, it, and, and people will, by the way, tell you that, oh, I can play with my foot and I can press the pedal and I can achieve the same result. So why do I need a throttle controller or whatever? I don't think, I think the, the, the miss is, it's not a throttle position controller. So I'm, uh, so I, I'll try to do justice. So my experience because i have it in all my cars i mean i have it in my truck i have it in my corvette i have it in my zl1 and i bought one for the uh the uh, mustang this one the shelby gd500 so it has nothing to do in my view with oh you can press the pedal and you get the same result because no matter how much you press before the car registers there is a lag and dct is quick much much quicker than other cars but even in this car that lag still exists 
and why I'm so confident about the pedal commander because I had it on my base car and it blew it out of the park. It had its hits and misses because when you're really pushing the car or you're trying to do a 0 to 60 and stuff, you definitely don't need it because then all you're going to do is wheel spin. But otherwise, in all other scenarios, like you're in a road race scenario, you're on the highway, you're in a sport mode, you slam the gas pedal and you just want to get and go, yes, DCT will do its thing, but pedal commander makes it much more snappy and it takes away that lag from the time the pedal is pressed and then the car registers that it needs to go. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is. And I'll make a separate video, by the way, on pedal commander uh, once I install it, that what is my view, but I want to do it step by step so we can compartmentalize the performance gains so we can first talk about, okay, how do we feel about just the JLT and then the, uh, the pedal commander because otherwise it's very hard to understand what car's doing, uh, the, the, I mean, what mod is doing the trick, you know? I'm trying to see if it's a Hellcat. Oh, no, that's an RT. Is it an RT? Yeah, that's an RT, so that's a scat bag. <laughs> that is that is that is awesome guys i mean i don't want to tell what speed we were on but <laughs> this is fast <laughs> found a RT with a very nice exhaust I mean he had a passenger obviously but yeah he was it was a he was a very quick roll race guys uh, so yeah I mean it this is 760 horses I don't know what he got because I mean I don't I don't, I don't know anything about the car I just met him on the road but yeah there was no match like I mean right like when the, the car hooks real fast and I think he got a hit I was I was slower to uh, like hit the gas pedal and like yeah once it's going like he was he was just long gone i mean it just pulls like a beast yeah i mean i i hope it was a, i wished it was a hellcat then you guys would have got a better footage unfortunately it was not but yeah i mean that's that's pretty much the summary guys um so this is my initial impression and um, before jlt about the car it's a beautiful machine, you guys already know. I mean, go and get one. I'm pretty sure you can crank a lot of power with these some small mods like the ported blower and stuff. Uh, and there are a lot of YouTube channels like people are doing a little bit of mods. Uh, I mean, I don't, I haven't seen necessarily a lot of mods on the carbon fiber track pack, obviously, uh, because of the price of the cars and how exclusive these are. So if you really want to mod your car out, I would say go for the base model and then use that extra money and extra cash to just probably crank out another three, four, five hundred horses of the car from the car rather than blowing all that money on the on the carbon fiber track pack. Yeah, so I think it's time to pack the video up guys and I'll be heading home and please uh, like and subscribe and I'll be soon uploading the after video I hope within this week uh, because I have to do the installation and then I have to do my uh, impressions and reviews. So, uh, I mean, please uh, press the notification icon so you can get an alert as soon as we have that video up on the channel. So I'm pulling at one of the uh, parking lots so I can quickly uh, unhook my gear and all because it's a lot of gear to drive with. But yeah, stay tuned to the channel and I really appreciate uh, all my subscribers for being there. Thank you so much for all your support and we'll try to bring 
better content and we're really working hard uh, for the channel so yeah stay safe and 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 just just uh, uh, I mean thank you for all your support guys thank you